So I grew up around the sport of racing. Uh, <laughs> Dad, put the damn thing on vibrate. <laughs> So I grew up around the sport of racing. My dad raced for many years. When I was younger, I didn't know if I wanted to drive or not. When I became about nine, 10 years old, I decided I was starting to get more interested in it. Just being in the garage, the racing, the winning, just everything that came along with it, I was like, man, that's so cool. I, I hope I can do it. And when I got about 13 years old, I started racing motocross and I did that for a year or two. And then I transferred from that. I realized that that really wasn't uh, my passion and I couldn't be a hundred percent at motocross so I moved to go-karts and instantly we were fast and started running really well and then we went to late models and did that for a couple years and then so on and so forth and you know I've just been around the sport my whole life and that's all I think about is racing and obviously the outdoors but it's something about that race car and those fumes and and the hard work it takes to, to make it all work and um, you know I wouldn't have it any other way and Racing is really addicting, and I think these guys from today uh, see what my lifestyle is like and kind of a day of some of the things that I deal with in my life at the racetrack. I think these guys had a great time, and I was uh, glad to exp let them experience a day behind the wheel. So you retired in 2007, I guess. So what are you up to now, and kind of what, what do you have going outside of the NASCAR world? Well, it's crazy to see now. I was the first NASCAR driver to form a nonprofit. Wow. I did that in 96. Good for you. And I had a lot of people influence me to call it the Warburton Wildlife Foundation. Now, 20 plus years later, it's grown in its, its uh, own identity. All right. It's almost like one of my children, and my children work really hard on it. So that takes a lot of my time. It's like this land right here uh, is something that's really dear to me, but all, all land needs a voice, and my foundation tries to get it a voice. We do a lot of outreach with veterans and youth here as well as going to school and a lot of other different programs. But the other thing that really takes my time is Jeb's racing career. Right. You know, the sport of NASCAR has changed a lot. So that kid's giving it 100% and that's why that I'm willing to help him. And uh, you know, I've got some granddaughters and I cleaned up my wife, uh, trying to support my kids and do a few things to make a living obviously. But right. yeah, man, I'm like a uh, chicken my head cut off every day. <laughs> That's From good. 4.30 Same, a.m. to dark every day. I just do nothing but work. But that's awesome. That's the way we were brought up back when I was growing up. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Let's go see if we can catch some fish. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> 